As you can see, I'm using mods in Minecraft 1.20.6. That is because I have installed Forge. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to download and install Forge 1.20.6 for Minecraft. Let's go ahead and get started. The first step is to click the second link in the description, which is going to bring you to a written guide on how to download and install Forge. Now, of course, this is a written guide, but if you were to have any questions, you could always come back and refer to it. However, if you just want to follow along, find a step one and then click where it says download Forge here. I'll redirect you to the official Forge page where you're going to select 1.20.6 on the left side. Very important that you select 1.20.6. Once you selected it, read 1.20.6 in here and click on installer. That'll bring you over here where after five seconds, you will see a button labeled as a skip right here on the top. Go ahead and click that button and that'll begin the download for Forge. Now, don't worry about downloading Forge because Forge is completely safe to download. And talking about something safe to use, Apex Hosting is here, offering you 25% off your first server if you use the first link in the description. You could either create a Java or a Bedrock server, a server that is hosted online, so you don't expose your IP address, you don't put yourself at risk, you don't give too much information. This server will be hosted online, you get it set up in less than 5 minutes, and they have support for more than 200 mod packs with just a click of a button. They also have servers all around the world, so you don't have to worry about having bad connection to your own server. Use the first link in the description for 25% off, and let's get back into the tutorial. Now, once you download finishes you will find it here on your recent downloads and then you could go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop you could also find this download within your downloads folder in your computer now that we have the forge installer we're gonna need a mod to try this out if you already have a mod you could go ahead and skip the next part of the video now if you want to use the same mod as me as the one you saw in the intro which is journey map click on the third link in the description that's our reading guide on how to download and install journey map you don't have to read through this unless you really need to but if you just want to follow along just click where it says journey map in here this big button that will redirect you over here go ahead and scroll down and now it's very important that you look for the mod loader that matches the one that we have which is forge so as you see we have fabric fabric neo forge fabric forge and there it is forge 1.20.6 you could always just click where it says all mod loaders in here in the filter by category and then put forge and then they'll bring up all the forge versions just look for 1.20.6 click on this little three dots in here and click download file after five seconds your download for the journey map file will begin once you downloaded the journey map same thing as before as we did with the forge installer let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop now the next step is to install forge but this is actually where the video might get a little bit complicated so i want you to pay close attention the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your minecraft game as well as your minecraft launcher is completely closed once you have done that, you want to make sure that you have at least Java 21 in your computer. And no, I'm not talking about Minecraft Java, I'm talking about Java, the software that is going to allow us to open these JAR files. I've gotten comments in the past telling me that after the new update, it's impossible for them to open JAR files. That is because Java 17 and all the older versions of Java don't work anymore. You're going to need Java 21. How do you know what Java do you have? Just click where it search type auto remove programs open that up and in here you're going to click on search apps and you're going to type java that is going to bring up which java do you have and as you can see we already have java 21 in here if you don't have java 21 if you have java 17 or java 8 or maybe not even a java at all just go ahead and get rid of your older version of java and then click on the fourth link in the description which is our written guide on how to download and install java installing java is super super simple and it will most likely fix any issues that you might face when opening the forge installer maybe you try to open the forge installer and it opens as a text document or a web browser or something like that you might need java 21 super simple to follow along it's literally three steps and then you'll be able to open these jar files anyways once you have installed java 21 let's keep going now all you have to do is launch your forge installer by double clicking on it or you could also right click and then open with and then use java i'll open this little installer in here just give it a second and you're going to select install client which should be selected automatically then go ahead and click on ok and let's wait for it forge to install should be a super fast and easy process to do again if you're having any issues to get forced to open it might be because you have an outdated java fourth link in the description how to update java i'm also going to leave a fifth link after that which is a link to install jar fix after you install java sometimes you might have to run a jar fix to make sure that all your jar files which are these files are linked to your new instance of java i don't know if this is too hard to follow along i hope it's not let's say that you had java 17 and you deleted it and now you install java 21 and your files still not working well go ahead and run that jar fix because you have to relink your jar files to the newest 
to the newest Java on your computer. Anyways, after Forge is installed, you will see this successful install client. Go ahead and click on OK. And guess what? You can now even delete the Forge installer. Let's go ahead and delete it. We don't need it anymore. So now we have Journey Map. The poor mod is left here alone. Let's go ahead and launch our Minecraft launcher to just make sure that Forge has been installed successfully. Now, if you have a different mod or if you were just trying to install Forge but not add any mods, at this moment, you could actually just stop watching the video because you already installed Forge if that's all you wanted. If you're just a weirdo that doesn't want to add mods, then go ahead and install Forge for nothing. But if you want to add mods, the next step, once you open the Minecraft launcher, as you can see, we have Forge selected here automatically because we installed it properly. The next step is to head over to installations. You will find Forge in here. And if you don't, make sure that you have modded selected here on the top right. As you can see, if modded is not selected, you won't see it. Make sure it's selected. And if that doesn't bring Forge up still, you could always click on new installation. Name this something like Apex Hosting, right? You can name it whatever you want, but Apex Hosting is the best platform to create a server on using the first link in the description. In the version, you want to look for Forge as well. As you can see, we have released 1.20.6 Forge in here. So you want to select that and then create it. Just create a new instance and they'll make an instance of Forge for you in here. Anyways, to add the mods, like I was saying, you're going to find Forge in here. You're going to hover over it and you're going to click on this little folder that is going to open a folder with a lot of files inside. Doesn't matter. We're just looking for a specific folder in here called mods. M-O-D-S and our mods folder is right here. As you can see, I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger. Our mods folder is right there. However, if you don't have this mods folder, let's assume you don't have it. So I'm going to go ahead and delete mine. You could always create it by right clicking, clicking on new and then folder and then type M-O-D-S. There we go. Mods. Create that mods folder yourself. And now just to go ahead and drag and drop the mod that you want to use into this folder. In this case, it's a journey map. So we're going to go ahead and add that in here. Just make sure that the mod that you add in here, it's 1.20.6 and that it matches your mod loader instance, which in this case is Forge. Once you added the mod in there, head back to your Minecraft launcher and launch your Minecraft game using Forge. Let's go ahead and click on play. Click that you understand the risk of playing modded Minecraft and then click play again and wait for the game to open. It is extremely important that you understand that not all the mods are compatible with all the mods loaders. So if you download a Fabric mod, it won't work with Forge. You will have to use Forge and Fabric mods independently using their own mod loader. Even though there's a mod that allows you to use Forge and Fabric together, um, that's a whole different video, okay? So let's go ahead and wait for this to completely load. As you can see, this is a different loading screen and it has extra information in here because this is Forge. As you can see, it says Minecraft Forge, it says Forge Beta in here, Forge down here, just in case you have doubts. Now let's go ahead and launch a world. You could use any of the worlds that you have. Um, depending on the mods, some mods are client-side mods. Like for example, the journey map is a client-side mod meaning that this mod will work on any server or any world that you use it because it's a client site. Now, as you can see, once you're in the world, you have your journey map working. And if you press J, you will see that this mod is working and you will see everything where you are and all the stuff because the mod is working because we installed Forge properly. Anyways, guys, that has been it for today on how to download and install Forge for Minecraft 1.20.6. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. I will see you next time.